Now you can see these clouds, you can see the horizontal chemtrail lines that they spray into a normal rain pattern, but that's not the point of this video. Like you can see that these clouds moving by at like maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour. You can see that right there and it, it's ridiculous that people think that those trees underneath this moving cloud system that the trees attached to the ground are spinning from the equator over a thousand miles an hour, a thousand thirty nine miles an hour. Now we're here in New York so it's a little slower, maybe six hundred miles an hour. But that cloud right there above the trees is going by at ten miles an hour. How is that possible? What physics or mechanics can explain that? So now you gotta bring up gravity so the earth and the atmosphere above those clouds all move as one. So the gravity has the atmosphere moving at the same rate of speed that the ground of the earth is moving, but everything in between, these clouds floating by at less than 10 miles an hour, aren't attached, but they are part of the atmosphere. So what atmosphere differentiates from these clouds? They're part of the atmosphere. Why aren't they? There's no way they could be going by at 10 miles an hour if the earth was spinning that fast. The gravity that they allege is emanating from the center of the earth upwards to pull the atmosphere back down and keep it spinning in relation to the ground. Why isn't it affecting all these clouds in the middle? Come on, you can see these clouds right here moving by at 10 miles an hour, but we're taught that the ground of the earth is spinning over a thousand miles an hour from the equator and a little bit less going towards the poles. That's ridiculous. It's just so stupid. I can't believe it every time I look up and I see clouds floating by at 10 miles an hour. That in, uh, in Wikipedia and textbooks say the ground of the earth is spinning. It's the ground of the earth is not spinning. Okay? Everything in the sky, the stars, the sun, and the moon, they're moving. The earth is stationary. And that cloud right there is floating by at 10 miles an hour. But the liars of scientism will have you believe that the ground of the earth and the atmosphere way up is spinning in relation to one another 1,039 miles an hour at the equator. That's ridiculous. The, the ground of the earth is firm and immovable. All these clouds, those clouds just float, floated by at less than 10 miles an hour. How is the ground of the earth spinning faster than a bullet at the equator? And there are bullets that travel less than a thousand miles an hour out of a mediocre handgun like a snub nose 38. They go at about 800, 850, 900 miles an hour. Okay, so this is almost twice the speed of sound. Speed of sound is 700 miles an hour or so. And they say the earth is spinning faster than the speed of sound. But the clouds above it are going by 10 miles an hour to the east. And then if you go up higher, there's another cloud band going 10 miles an hour to the west. How, how is that? That's ridiculous. I can't believe people just, they're watching the Kardashians and CNN fake news too much. Those clouds are flowing by at 10 miles an hour. The ground of the earth's not moving. How? That's, and another thing they teach that the core of the earth is molten metal. Well, there can be no electromagnetic, there could be no magnetic charge when the metal, no metal retains its magnetic properties once it's in a molten form. So that's stupid. They've never even surpassed eight miles in depth with uh, any drill. But they want to send certain waves that they say they can send 5,000 miles down or to the core of the earth and that it's all molten metal. 
And there can be no, it, that cannot be demonstrated. There's no magnetic piece of metal that can be put in a, in a, in a melted down into a molten form. It loses all its magnetic property. I mean, what they say and what can be demonstrated are two different things. And it's just ridiculous what we've been taught. It is part of the great deception. Now, the heliocentric model, which is idolatry. These people worship Sol, Helios, Ra, uh, Venus, Saturn, and Mars. That's why these atheist parasites named everything after pagan deity fake gods. And then they proclaim to be atheists. But they pay homage to them. The days of the week are all named after false pagan gods. Saturday, Saturn Day, Moon Day, Sunday, Thor's Day is for Thursday. I forgot the others, I got them written down. But they all pay homage to demonic fake entities and claim to be atheists. They're liars. Okay, so they, the great deception is soon... They're going to tell you aliens are on their way or that they're here and they're going to introduce you to one. And many of you fools are going to fall for it. Okay, but these aliens are not from other worlds. They're from the earth. They're demonic imposters. And they're going to tell you, I promise you, that they made you millions of years ago. They spliced their DNA with that of some ancient primate to make us to mine uh, some type of, uh, I forgot the, the type of gold they take it from the atmosphere. All that Nibiru bullshit with the Anunnaki type shit they're going to try to to push on everyone. They're, they're already doing it with the military releasing nonsense uh, radar tracking objects doing things that aren't, that we're, we're not capable of doing in air or at flight. So that's what it's coming to, and, and there, there's a lot of info out there that these scumbags are going to be saying the Earth is going to be traveling through an asteroid field, and that that Nibiru is going to be upon us. And all you fools, all they could do is, one thing they could do is put out, uh, equip uh, missiles with, with uh, tracer light and send one in and blame it on a meteorite. Cordon the area off to just uh, the certain agency that's going to hide the shrapnel from the from the missile and to blame it on a meteorite. Now, if that were true, you could look up at the moon at night and see that the moon would, would be taking uh, asteroid hits, meteorite hits. You could see that. No new crater has ever appeared on the moon. Yet they teach us that thousands of meteorites and, and uh, asteroids hit the Earth. A day, that's what they try to tell you a shooting star is, which it is not. It's a, an electromagnetic discharge, and they have devices and instruments to tell when that's going to be high activity, you know, and then they come trail the whole sky out, so you can't see it. It's all electromagnetic current and discharge and activity. It's not a, a shooting star. You could tell by their trajectory that they're not even coming from outer space. They usually go parallel over the Earth. They start there parallel and then there in a straight level line, usually. Okay, they don't come from up straight down or vertical. I've never seen one like that. And no new, new crater has ever appeared on the moon. It's not going to happen. The moon was made that way. Okay? We're just lied to. I see these clouds floating by and 95% of society believes the earth is spinning. That the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans could maintain themselves on a calm day spinning 1,039 miles an hour at the equator. That's so stupid. I, I just can't believe it. I used to believe con continental drift. That's all nonsense. Dinosaurs. There were big animals in, in the time of Job and biblical times. They lie to us about history and about the time frames. Why would atheist people base our time frames B.C. and A.D. 
on Jesus Christ if they're atheists. I don't even think Jesus was here 2,000 years ago. I think he might have been here a lot. Uh, uh, he was here in the, in the past, the, 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 the recent past. I don't believe it was 2,000 years ago. I believe that there's other things going on. Antarctica holds the key, and there's a lot of reasons why we're not allowed there independently. Yeah, they got tours. You can go there on their tours. And you can't go anywhere outside of where they say you can go. You can't just go there on your own. You'll be stopped and turned around by military vessels. will turn you around. It's the only treaty that all these countries have adhered to. Never violated. You know, this earth... There's only one earth and the, the lights in the sky are just that, lights, electromagnetic lights of different gas, density, plasma, electricity, magnetism, water. These people lie. I mean, ever since the flat earth came out five years ago, they've been come trailing the hell out of the skies because people have been zooming in on stars and you can see they're not suns and you can see they're not light years away. That they're local and they're multicolored transparent lights. And in New York State, forget about it. You're, you can't zoom in on anything. It's all hazed out. It's all haze at night. It's all this. And that's what the skies are at night in New York State. And if you can see some stars, you can see maybe four or five stars. And you can see the horrible haze there behind you, you'll never see a black night, a black sky at night in New York State with white points of light the way they look, unless you're zooming in on them. Then you can see their wonderful colors and electromagnetic current and energy. Yeah, people need to wake up. They're not gonna. They're under hypnosis and, and, and they're, uh, there's a deception. These people don't want you to know that you are significant. The earth is special, and we are at the center of everything. It's not the, the sun, the moon, and the stars pay homage to earth. Earth doesn't move. All these lights above the earth transit over the earth. There is no sky underneath my feet in Australia. That's stupid. Everything is built on a level foundation. I mean, if you build a house, it's got to be on a level foundation. If you build a neighborhood, level foundation. A city... Level foundation. So you think if the job gets bigger, that changes? No, that does not change. You can fly from here to China in an airplane, which flies over a plane, and the whole flight is done so on a, in, in, in accordance, parallel to a level horizon, what the artificial horizon indicator keeps a plane level the whole way. And you can stare at that artificial horizon indicator for the whole trip, and that plane remains level until its descent run to go in the land. Then it does the vertical landing. It's just a bunch of lies. The earth is level, built on a level foundation. I mean, I guess it does take an IQ over 90 to realize this. If you don't have that, if you're not equipped with that, then you've got to let others dictate your reality. So Wikipedia and Google are your number one forms of knowledge. Google it. Whatever it says is what you'll regurgitate, repeat, and try to believe. Because people with a low IQ have a poor attention memory span. So you're going to have to keep going back to it to, to, to reacquaint yourself with their lies. It's just terrible.